His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a ceremony at Al Asghir Palace to receive the credentials of three new ambassadors to the kingdom. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's keenness to building bridges of communication and achieve mutual interests with various countries. The ceremony was attended by His Highness the Representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the Chief of Royal Protocol. The new ambassador arrived at Sheer Palace individually where they were received by Chief of Royal Protocol. The ambassador of Japan, Okai Asako, arrived at Sheer Palace where the usual protocols were performed on the occasion. His Majesty the King and the Ambassador exchanged welcoming statements and hailed the strong bilateral relations and the development witnessed in all fields, wishing her every success in performing her diplomatic duties. The ambassador of Cyprus, Dr. Andreas Liadis, arrived at Sheer Palace, where the usual protocols were performed on the occasion. His Majesty the King exchanged welcoming statements and hailed the strong bilateral relations and the development witnessed in all fields, wishing him every success in performing his diplomatic duties. The ambassador of the UAE, Fahad Mohammed Saleh bin Kardus Al Amri, arrived at Sheer Palace, where the usual protocols were held on the occasion. His Majesty the King exchanged welcoming statements and hailed the strong bilateral relations and the development witnessed in all fields, wishing him every success in performing his diplomatic duties. The ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King greetings and appreciation of their country's leaders, who wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness, and Bahrain and his people further progress and prosperity. 
they praise the multilateral relations in all fields.
On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Kingdom of Bahrain's naval ship, the RBNS Khalid bin Ali, marking its entry into the Royal Bahrain Naval Force at the Salman Naval Base. This follows the celebrations commemorating the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was welcomed by the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The event was attended by the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Staff Colonel His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness was accompanied by His Highness Staff Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Several senior officers also attended the event, and the ceremony began with the Royal Anthem. After that, verses from the Holy Quran were recited, followed by an address delivered by the commander of RBNA, Rear Admiral Ahmed Muhammad al-Bin Ali.
A souvenir was then presented to His Royal Highness by Rear Admiral Ali bin Ali. His Royal Highness was given a tour on board of RBNS Khalid bin Ali, where His Royal Highness inaugurated the vessel, marking its entry into the Royal Bahrain Navy. His Royal Highness was briefed on the RBNS Khalid bin Ali's advanced facilities, including operations and command rooms and equipment. His Royal Highness was also given a summary of the naval ship's defense capabilities and its advanced systems. He highlighted the BDF's ongoing development and thanked His Majesty the King for his unwavering support for the BDF. His Royal Highness noted the BDF's pivotal role alongside allied countries in safeguarding and upholding regional security and development. He congratulated the BDF Commander-in-Chief and the BDF's personnel on the 56th anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. He affirmed that the RBNS Khalid bin Ali is a crucial addition to the Royal Bahrain Naval Force that will further improve the BDF's combat readiness and capabilities to carry out its national duties. His Royal Highness commended the efforts of the naval ship's crew and their success in their missions. His Royal Highness also commended the Royal Bahrain Naval Forces' efforts and the active participation in several humanitarian and defense missions to safeguard international maritime navigation and protect the free flow of international trade and in partnership with allied countries. The Speaker of the Representatives Council chaired the weekly meeting where the Council discussed a draft proposal regarding insurance against unemployment. The Council also discussed a proposal regarding reducing municipal fees for Bahraini families. The Council then approved a number of proposals, including the government supporting local companies and factories, as well as providing free parking for patients of San Mania Medical Complex and Health Centers. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Yasser Ahmedan, attended the opening ceremony of the solar energy project that was installed on the buildings and parking lots of the Middle East Navigation Aid Services Company. He stressed the importance of strengthening partnership with the private sector to support renewable energy projects in line with Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. The minister indicated that the ministry attaches great importance to building an effective partnership and constructive cooperation with the private sector institutions by increasing the share of renewable energy in order to achieve the national goals included within the National Renewable Energy Plan. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, inaugurated Bahrain Halal Expo, where a large number of halal food and industry experts in the Islamic world attended the opening ceremony. More on this report. Bahrain Halal Expo is the first of its kind in the kingdom, and it bridges the gap between the halal industry and the Islamic finance sector through various methods. The event allows visitors and experts explore investment opportunities in the halal sector and expand horizons for entrepreneurs and SMEs. Industry Minister highlighted Bahrain's efforts to establish a national halal system aimed at unifying and facilitating halal goods and services procedures while ensuring compliance with standards, as the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, through the National Standardization Organization, works with partners in the public and private sectors and regional and Islamic organizations to adopt standards and technical regulations related to developing halal systems infrastructure. The Expo featured several activities, starting with the first session, Methods of Financing Halal Trade and Industry, while the second session discussed investment opportunities in the halal trade industry and services and the halal financial technology economy, at tayyib which dealt with the most prominent traditional Islamic finance solutions, such as speculation and participation, 
as well as assessing compatibility with the provisions of Islamic Sharia. The General Directorate of Traffic has arrested 648 drivers of different nationalities for providing transportation services for money without licenses. The Directorate noted that Article 46 of the Traffic Law punishes anyone who practices a public transportation activity without a license, with imprisonment for up to six months and or a fine of up to 1,000 BD. It affirms the contribution of law enforcement campaigns in all governorates in cooperation and coordination with the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunications. The Bahraini Farmers Market, which is sponsored by STC Bahrain and Niyad, and in cooperation with the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, attracted a large turnout of visitors in its 11th edition. More than 132,000 visitors have visited the market since its launch, amid active participation by farmers, restaurants and cafe owners.